my understanding that the reason the prosecutors gave that this trial did not go forward is that on the eve of trial, these witnesses just disappeared. Now, according to someone we spoke to who claims she has knowledge of Michael Sylvester and his past and current whereabouts, she insists that, in fact, the Luzmans have been hiding Michael out, her words, not mine, first in Florida, then in Arizona, and most recently in California. This woman has denied our request to be on the show, but she has constructive knowledge, she says, of what's going on here. Now, this is, this is a young man that said, and I quote, it's on the record, to the investigators, look at me, I was not driving. Robert Luzman was driving, okay? Robert Luzman was driving. And then when we ask you about bringing him here, you said, he's not relevant to this. I don't want, you know, he's, he's not appropriate for this show. He wasn't charged with anything. And the reason well, I... That, 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 what do you mean he wasn't well, What does that have to do? This was about Robert being falsely accused. Right, but you're... And, the, man, and, and, the, and the person that is falsely Mike, accusing him, Mike you say, is not relevant to the show? Honestly, I didn't know that this was going to be like this. Like what? I am not making a judgment here that your son is guilty in this situation at all. I, I truly am not. And, but what you have to do is ask the hard questions here. And here you've got someone that sat down with police investigators and said, this guy is a lunatic. He ran this guy over in a car. So let's bring him out and, and let's ask him the questions. He's not, get him here when he's not drunk and say, what the hell are you saying? What, why are you saying this about this guy? This could vindicate your son once and for all. And, and you don't want him here? That makes me wonder why. I, I have no presumption of guilt on the part of your son. The only thing that makes him look guilty to me is you. You seem to be hiding this guy. Um, I don't know where he was at 11 o'clock. I don't really want to do this anymore. You, I'm sorry? I just, I don't really want to do this anymore. Well, listen, you, you can walk out the same way just, you came. I just don't. I think, I feel like we're being You're not going to not gonna clear your brother by being defensive, and, and you can get the haughty attitude all you want. That's not going to make him look better. What's going to make him look better is drilling down to the facts and answering the questions because those questions are going to be asked. And if you have answers, you need to give the answers and clear this up. And these people are entitled to the truth. They have a dead son. They are entitled to the truth. I know you guys are looking for closure. I totally understand that. I also totally understand your loss. I didn't do it, though. I can't tell you who did do it. I don't know what happened to Alex. Are you willing to take a polygraph? Yeah. Yeah. Why not? I don't think I should have to. Let me help you with that one. No. Why can't he take a polygraph? If you're telling us that he can't be charged again or ever brought to trial for this, then why would he not want to clear his name? And the question you should be asking is, is he ever willing to talk to us? <laughs> you should be asking, is he ever willing to talk to us privately? to tell everything you know. He won't even talk to investigators. Th that's the point. Your desire to know has run right into their right to remain silent. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.